waiting for hope. For we through the Spirit by faith wait for the hope of righteousness, Galatians 5 verse 5. There are times when things look very dark to me, so dark that I have to wait even for hope. It is bad enough to wait in hope. A long deferred fulfillment carries its own pain, but to wait for hope, to see no glimmer of a prospect and yet refuse to despair. To have nothing but night before the casement and yet to keep the casement open for possible stars, to have a vacant place in my heart and yet to allow that place to be filled by no inferior presence, that is the grandest patience in the universe. It is Job in the tempest, it is Abraham on the road to Moriah, it is Moses in the desert of Midian, it is the Son of Man in the Garden of Gethsemane. There is no patience so hard as that which endures, as seeing him who is invisible it is the waiting for hope. Thou hast made waiting beautiful, thou hast made patience divine. Thou hast taught us that the Father's will may be received just because it is his will. Thou hast revealed to us that a soul may see nothing but sorrow in the cup and yet may refuse to let it go, convinced that the eye of the Father sees further than its own. Give me this divine power of thine, the power of Gethsemane. Give me the power to wait for hope itself, to look out from the casement where there are no stars. Give me the power, when the very joy that was set before me is gone, to stand unconquered amid the night, and say, to the eye of my Father it is perhaps shining still. I shall reach the climax of strength when I have learned to wait for hope. Strive to be one of those, so few, who walk the earth with ever-present consciousness, all mornings, middays, star times, that the unknown which men call heaven is close behind the visible scene of things. Thanks for watching. God bless you.